Alright guys, we made it to the treatment theater at Leary's Memorial Institute. And we're playing with Alan Wake. He's been officially <laughs> added to the PTB. Oh, god dang it, I missed his voice line. He's got voice lines! This is my first time checking him out. Now, we've got all of his perks active. Oh my god. Are we a team of Alan Wakes? What the? We're a, a whole team of Alan Wakes. Alright, well I guess let's go work on his middle gen. Now, I do think the killer brought in a Mori. What's that heartbeat I'm hearing? Okay. We got a Birkin Blight. Oh my god. Hold on. Now, oh, he's got Starstruck. I think he might. <laughs> Odds are he's going to be running Lightborn. And if so, it's going to nullify one of our perks. So let me tell you about those real quick. We got Champion of Light. So that perk, if we... If we use our flashlight, we get a 50% haste while the flashlight is shining. Oh, he's already over there. I just saw a totem, by the way. That's good for another perk. Yeah, so you get 50% haste while you're actually shining the light. Oh my god, we're all here? <laughs> that guy can't... You can't do three-person heals. But if you successfully blind a killer, you cause them to get hindered by 20%. So for the first time, survivors can cause a killer to get hindered. The problem is, I feel like killers are going to be running... Uh, sir? I've got this, don't worry. But I feel like killers are going to be running Lightborn to counter this. Also, we've got Deadline. Uh, actually, let me start with the Boon Illumination that I'm doing right now. So this one, we bless it. Sir? <laughs> yes, I got this. Don't worry. Now when we're within the aura, we can see all generators on the map and all chests. Check that out. Isn't that cool? Literally, everything on the map. So it's going to be one of the best intel perks in the game. Sir, come on. Let's get cooking. Where are you going? I don't know what's happening. But yes, all the intel. All the intel that you could ever dream of is right there to be seen. Uh, but the... Well, is it really a downside? I guess not. Okay. Sir, what the hell is happening? There's... Uh, <laughs> oh, and by the way, you do get a 10% bonus to, uh, to, you know, destroying... Or cleansing, rather, cleansing totems, or blessing another totem if you want, but you can only have one of these blessed at a time. Okay, yeah, you know what? He was the one being a potato, not me. Oh, he whiffed. He whiffed. We're going back to it. Look at this aura. Isn't this crazy? Okay, he's still on that chase. Also, let me tell you about the other perk now. All right, deadline. So when you're wounded, if you start working on a gen or if you start healing, you have a, what is it? A 10% yeah, greater skill check. I had to make notes on it to make sure I got the percent right. And this is, of course, top tier perks, but you get a 10% greater chance of skill checks popping up. If you miss one of them, there's a 50% less penalty. It still pops, the gen, or the killer still sees it, but much less of a penalty. Okay, I thought Birkin was going to come over here. I'm going to try for this again. Yeah, he's got Lightborn. He's got Lightborn for sure. But yeah, 10% or, uh, you know, less 50% uh, less penalty for failing. But the downside is, is this. The skill checks pop up randomly. Got a chest. I don't feel like these guys want to get gens done. I feel like this is just more of an instructional round that we're doing. We'd, we would have to survive until we actually got the, uh, you know, got, got all the others to death hook. But we'll keep working. We'll keep cranking along. All right. Well, it looks like Raz started working for a minute. Sir, I don't want any of what you're selling. Yeah. 
No, <laughs> leave me the hell alone. <laughs> leave me the hell alone. Go chase the guys who aren't working. All right, that guy took the heat. That means I get away. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's still trying. I mean, that Birkin wants to get some more kills here. Oh no, he got knocked. Oh, we're back in our totem range so we can see all the stuff. I'm gonna go back to the gen that I was working on because we had some good progress there. Oh man, the dungeon! Now luckily we didn't get within the range of the carry. Oh, he's trying to jump off. Oh my god. Oh, we barely dodged him. Okay, well, Raz is left. Mr. Razamataz. We might have to switch gens, because he's probably going to watch the one that we were just working on. He's looking. Does he know where Raz is? Back in range. So Raz is working on something. God, this intel is so cool. Again, I don't think he's going to let us work on that one, but we're going to maybe switch off to this. The other thing that you got to keep in mind too with this flashlight is we could use a flashlight to walk away quickly. So that's one thing I think that people, when, when they first read about this perk, they thought, okay, this is strictly for just getting killer blinds lining up quicker, something like that, or, or getting more distance from the killer. But realistically, if you start to hear heartbeat, if you know that they've got Lightborn, you could still get value out of it by using it to speedwalk and leave no scratch marks. Oh boy. Okay. The one time I tried to use it. Oh no, he's got hubris. still on me. Woo! Oh my god, we are fighting for our lives. No! no! He got me through it! Oh, come on. <laughs> we had some good chases there, though. We had some really good chases. The downside is Raz, he's been playing kind of, you know, scared the whole game. Is he looking for a scourge or what? Why did you swing? Sir, I did some good work there. Okay. Oh, is he actually going to rescue? Is he going to put some respect on my name? Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. You're the best. That man is the, literally the best. Now, let me show you the skill checks. We're going to get more skill checks by doing this. See how they go in a different place? Oh my god. Oh my god, please.
Son of a biscuit! Oh, I'm dead. Oh. God, no, please! No! I've run here so long! I got the one single gen! Oh, he's gonna hook me right away. Come on, Birkin! You gotta find Raz! I think Raz wants me to live, because he, given that he gave me the or he gave me the med kit, he's, he's playing it safe. Playing it safe. Oh, he's checking lockers. Oh no! Does he have intel off that locker? Oh, he's going for the the other dude. Okay, we're gonna use this heal. Now I did bring in a perk that will give me charges back, but I don't think it's gonna be enough to fully heal again. Oh, he's way too close, I don't like this. We're still getting those skill checks though. Oh my god, he was right there! Alright, Raz is working. Actually, we do have some gen progress here. So we're about to get our item re replenished. There we go. Built to last. This is gonna be my last chance. Oh, he found Raz. He found Mr. Razmataz. This gen lost all its progress. Now, they did change the gen burn mechanics. I have to read up on them a little bit more just to get, like, familiarized with how it works now. But essentially, from what I understand, gens can only go into a state of regression eight times now. After that, they no longer can. Uh, but I guess, like, when killers kick gens now, there's a bigger pen penalty uh, where, you know, it kicks it down further. But, uh, but yeah, that's gonna hopefully help with three gen situations where if you keep going back on the gen, you, you know, ultimately... Uh, will cause a killer to make it where they can't break it anymore. And at that point, progress is progress. Uh, Raz is actually doing a good job out there running, so we're gonna keep working on this gen, try to get maybe gens done, even though, though there's two of us. We've been having some good chases here. Alright, Raz, come on, keep him going. Did Raz lose him? There's no way. Did Raz actually lose him while wounded? Also, guys, I gotta tell you again, look at this intel. Like, this is so cool. All you have to do is be within the, the range of the totem, and it shows you everything, every gen. There's no more mystery about where are the last gens, whatever else. And I think this will help avoid three gen situations where people know, for example, like, we're about to three gen ourselves because we're gonna form a diamond over there. But realistically, there's not really a way to stop a diamond from forming. If you look at this, no matter which one we do, it's gonna form some, or not a diamond, sorry, a triangle. All right, Raz is still getting chased. But we know where the next ones are. So there's one over there that's probably got the most distance. And he was working on a gen somewhere. It wasn't this one, this is the, uh, one person gen. I guess we can start it. Yeah, I don't want to get caught out. Oh no. Oh crap. He's checking a closet over, like, through this wall. Ooh. Oh no, Raz is here! Raz! Raz! Oh my god, Raz! Oh god, okay. I now know which Jenny was working on. It was over here somewhere. Wasn't it? Wait. It was on this side of the map. I 
hear it. Ah. He went back to work. Killer's back on her ass. Raz, I'm trying to get to it. Oh, he's still there. Is he letting him work? Oh god, no. <gasps> He's looping him at that gen! Damn, Raz is killing it! Raz, get away, I'll work. Okay. I'm on it. If Raz can buy his time, I'll get it. Oh god, no. Oh god, no! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> Riz! Oh man, the best I could do is just buy him time to work. Oh god, this is really, really, really bad. This is so bad. No! <laughs> I think he might have a Mori. <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on! Raz, you gotta get the gen! You gotta get it! What? No! I thought he was gonna let me go when he swung it. Alright, it's all on Raz. We gotta we gotta keep our fingers crossed. We need Raz to get the damn totem. He went for those rescues. He didn't have to necessarily. He deserves this escape. That was a tough situation. But we did some really great work considering that, you know, we had guys that were just falling pretty quick. One tried to jump off, let himself die. We would have gotten doors if it wasn't for that for sure. Alright, fingers crossed. Come on, Raz. We got to give him all the hatch luck. Unless he's going to go prep door. Come on, buddy. I'm sending all the good vibes. No! The good thing is he's got some serious distance between doors. Oh, no. Oh, he's going to hear you. You know how he's been getting away? Featherweight. That's how his scratch marks go away so much faster. No way, he got away! Dude, that perk's doing work! He still got time. He's gonna have to do some serious work though. He's going to have to 15% it. Or he's going to go for the whole thing. You got a little bit of progress. Yes! Yes! He's going to get it! He's going to get it! The killer left! Oh my god, this is huge. Absolutely huge. I think he's got it. Birkin's gonna be gone for a bit. He knows that he last spotted him on the other side. Absolutely huge. Oh my god. 
<laughs> I'm so happy that he got out. And we got to see how all the perks worked. All right, well, GG. Great work, Raz. <laughs> He, he, he freaking killed it, man. That was, that was good. And you know what? Lightweight, taking off the five seconds on scratch marks, totally helped him with his chases. That was actually really, really perfect. So he also had light footed. He had dead hard. He had champion of light. So yeah, super cool. Now, of course, we're going to see here, he was running lightborn. I think we're going to see a lot more of that. Uh, also, hubrits. However you say this word, people tell me I say it wrong. I say it right. I don't even know. This is not a word I use in my normal vocabulary, but this is the one where when we stunned him, we got exposed. He also had more exposed through Starstruck when he was carrying survivors. That was scary, of course. And during as well to reduce the duration of pallet stuns. Uh, he did bring in the Cypress Memento Mori, so he could have done a Mori, but only on the last survivor standing if they, they were all alone. And then he had the Compound 33 where he increased his rush turn rate by 33% for each consecutive rush that traveled at least 4 meters. But we're not going to end it there. We're going to go and do another round, so let's get right into it. All right, guys, made to the underground complex at the Hawkins National Laboratory. I feel like I don't see this map this enough. This is not good. No, it's actually really good. It's really, really good. Isn't it, sir? Yes, all right, he's in agreement. Ooh. Oh, what do we got, a hillbilly? We've been seeing some more hillbillies lately. Now, oxygen, hello. Is Okay, finally somebody wants to work with me. All right, hillbillies have a little bit of difficulty. This might not be the ideal map for hillbilly, to be honest. I'm the one who brought the offering because, again, I'm not seeing this map as much as I'd like. But uh, we'll see how the hillbilly does. Right now, he's still in a chase. No uh, hits on oxygen yet, which is great. Great start. Now, this other Alan Wake. Okay, we got a lobby full of them, by the way. Oh, okay. The other Alan Wake is not working. Maybe he's trying to set up for a blind or something. But odds are that this hillbilly is probably running Lightborn. If I had to guess, it's just going to be the norm now, I think. And I, I do think that they should maybe make something for survivors where it counters it, maybe. Or can counter it so many times if you, uh, you know, maybe you, you build up some charges. Alright, I'm going to go for rescue. Oh my god. He got popped at rescue site. Oh god. Oh, well, he just picked up. Oh, they got it. That means I need to go for this one. Oh my god. Okay, we got everybody. Oh my god. Alright, he's missing. I want him to break it so I can blind his ass. Oh, he's not going to. All right, he's going up above. We got to get back to work somewhere. There's too much heat. If I can find a totem, I'll get it blessed. Actually, no, I wonder. Is there going to be a totem up above? If so, that would be perfect. Or back here? No. Oh, yes. All right, we're going to get this blessed. This is actually kind of a good spot. Damn, he's already... Oh, wow. Rescue. Instant rescue. And okay, now we see where everything is. We got one gen right here. The oxygen's still getting chased. Ah, right, yes. I will get you healed up. Don't worry, sir. Look at this. Everything on the map. We know that there's three chests total. This is gonna be the ultimate freaking perk for even just finding chests. If you've got like an entity mission to go get chests, boom, you're covered. Just run this. Alright, oxygen's going up again. And we do have two separate gens being worked on. Oh. Might Oh, he got me screaming. He got rescue. I wish we could exchange information because I'm really curious if he's got Lightborn. Oh, is this oxygen? I think it is.
Okay. Well, it definitely is, because we can see over on the left side. All right, we're getting him healed up. Another man goes down. This is not good. Okay, hey, YTC, hang tight, give us a minute. You got some hang time, I know you can get those skill checks. Raz is off his gen. Right, I'm going for it. Okay. Raz, unfortunately, is uh, getting sliced. Dude, did you miss your skill check? Okay, we got that gen. He better not come back. He better not. Alright, come on. Where's the gen that Raz was working on? No, he was at a pallet. I didn't know. Oh God. Oh, that's not. Son of a. God bless it. Okay, we're gonna have to buy time for them to get gens. <laughs> oh, he's coming. Oh my god, that was close! Longest chase ever! <laughs> Jesus Christ! We're going upstairs. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, uh, we might have made a mistake there. He got me. He got me now. <laughs> he freaking got me. All right, we had a great chase there, though. That was that was actually amazing. We. <laughs> We ran it for so long. Okay, hopefully he doesn't have intel on that guy up there. Oh boy. Okay, the other two are death hook. I don't like that. Oh. Okay. We still got our totem over there. We know that there's a one-person gen upstairs. I don't know if that's the one we want to work on, though. 
All right, lead the way, sir. Oh, okay. Well, we can't do anything with that one. No! I can't save him. Oh god, no. Oh boy. Here we go again! Oh my god. Oh my god! Leave me alone! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, I'm done. Holy shit! Get that gen! You got it. Door, door. He's going to the other door. Oh my god. He found oxygen! Oh boy. Oxygen, please, we need you. Uh oh. He's not picking up. Oh, he knows exactly where I am. He disconnected! <laughs> okay. GG. Oh my god. That was scary. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell with that Aubrey? <laughs> I love it. Alright guys, let's look at what he had. Okay, we know he had ultimate weapon because he would get a screaming after he opened up the locker and it would cause us to get blinded. So that was obvious. He also had barbecue and chili. I didn't pick up on that. I didn't know he had that for sure. Uh, lethal Pursuer. He saw us at the start of the game and for some uh, extra couple seconds. And bamboozle if he hopped a window, but there weren't many windows to hop in that one. Uh, but that was super fun. Great teamwork. Man, I can't believe we got to doors. One of the longest killer chases I think I've had, at least with the hillbilly. That was probably the longest. Super fun though, super intense. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, this has been Alan Wake on the PTB in Dead by Daylight. You'll have to let me know what you think about it. I think it's pretty fun, and you know what? I'm actually having a good time with this perks, believe it or not. I'm enjoying them more than I thought I would. And just a reminder, if you want me to go through it real quick, we got Champion of Light, we got Deadline, and we got Boon Illumination. I talked about each of these at the start. Feel free to pause the video. But yeah, super fun. But leave a like, leave a comment, and if you enjoy the show, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all next time.